Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, I'm going to discuss about clip technique. First, let's get into the introduction of this topic. Clip means cross-linking and immunoprecipitation. So, the technique is used to study RNA protein interactions. We can say a method which is capable of identifying or locating RNA protein interactions. So, basically in this method, ultraviolet light is used. But for what purpose? So, the UV radiation is used to cross-link RNA binding proteins to the RNA. Now, the cross-linking bond which is formed between the RNA and protein is actually a covalent bond and hence irreversible. Now, this kind of chemical structure comes with an advantage that it allows stringent purification conditions or we can say the cross-linking process generally gives less background. So in this way, the technique provides information regarding the actual PBS or protein binding site on the RNA. Now let's talk about the basic principle of CLIP. Suppose we have a stretch of RNA molecule and this is the particular site where we will see the protein interaction precisely. And these are the proximal RNA binding proteins. Upon exposure to the ultraviolet radiation, covalent bonds are formed between RNA and RNA binding proteins. Now you have to note one thing here. These bonds only occur at a specific position on the RNA molecule. We can draw an outline of clip. We know our cells and tissues are constantly exposed to the ultraviolet radiations. So, as we discussed, the UV light would cause the formation of covalent bonds between RNA and RNA binding proteins. So, what we will do? We would lyse the cells and after the cross-linked cells are lysed, CLIP allows for a very stringent purification of the linked protein RNA complexes with the help of immunoprecipitation which is followed by the separation of RNA proteins from free RNA using gel electrophoresis or generally SDSPH. This step is followed by transfer to nitrocellulose. So the whole assembly is transferred to nitrocellulose. Protein RNA complexes are then excised from nitrocellulose. And the whole setup is subjected to proteinase K to release the RNA. Or we can say the proteins can be removed from the complexes. This activity leaves one or two amino acids at the cross-link site of the RNA. After this, the freed RNA is then reverse transcribed, which results in the formation of cDNAs. And these cDNAs are often truncated at the cross-link site. And the truncated cDNAs are the key insight and unique feature in the development of CLIP. It's because this kind of feature allows identification of the RNA protein interaction site at high resolution. This was all. Thanks for watching.